So here are the DMR pedals. These are the DMR pedals. So you can tell they're quite large. Um, I notice when I flick it with my finger, it doesn't spin very freely. Um, some people say that's a good thing, so you have, you're less likely to, you know, hurt yourself with it spinning like crazy when you're, you know, got your foot off the pedal or whatever. Um, over time, as you're riding, they should uh, spin a little more freely, I think. Um, so, I think that's just sort of typical. Um, now, it's got a whole bunch of pins on it, and you can see it has like these set screws, or grub screws as some call them. Uh, and there's a slight concavity, concavity? It's slightly concave, <laughs> right here along the pedal axle. And you can see that these pins here in the center are shorter than these on the outside. Now you can flip them around, so it's sort of customizable, which is pretty cool. Now, when I got this, I unscrewed each of these pins most of the way, and then I put a little dot of Loctite. That's thread locker. I use blue Loctite. Um, and that's just to keep these pins from coming out, because the main uh, complaint I saw on reviews was that these pins, you know, they, they fall out sort of easily. Now keep in mind, these DMR vault pedals, they're, uh, they're popular with downhill mountain bikers because you know they got a lot of grip and they're a large platform um, so they're likely bashing it on rocks and other things too there goes a cyclist no I'm not gonna try to catch him anyway so these are the DMR vaults these are actually the magnesium types uh, a little lighter than the than the uh, vanilla the default DMR vaults. Uh, I like the the color of them a little more too. It's you know the, the logo is a dark gray rather than a white so it doesn't stick out quite as much. They look really nice. Um, so thanks for watching and uh, let's go for a test ride. Bike vlogger here. Today we're going to talk about my new pedals. The DMR Bolts. Platform pedals, flat pedals. Feel really good. Uh, pretty darn good grip. Um, Big platform, rather lightweight, and they look really nice. So, looks like we're gonna have to spin around. Ah. Too much traffic. That's all right. We can. Yes, Chuck. Where did all this traffic come from? I had a wave of cars behind me. That's the problem. I can beat these guys. Left. All right, up the hill. So yeah, these are nice pedals. Uh, Testing them out today on the bike commute to work. Haven't gone this way in a little while. We can come back this way occasionally. Oh. It's 10 degrees cooler today. Instead of 100, it's 90 Fahrenheit. Oh my. It is Friday, third week of June, I believe, 2016.
We'll make a right here. Go up this way. Climb a little more hill. Bobcat construction vehicle up ahead. Let's try not to get hit. That's a lot of dirt. Messing up the nice road. Things like that that mess up the nice smooth pavement. Uh. Da -da -da. All right. Uphill. Uphill. Should I go straight or left? Let's go left. Back down the other side. You see those guys to the left. So, I can sort of compare these to my last uh, pedals I rode on bike commute to work. Platform pedals. They were the, uh, they are the, I still got them, Expedo Spry, S P R Y. They don't look quite as nice as these. Um, the pins are more, uh, not as grippy. The pins aren't screws like this bike. It's got, uh, this bike has some like grub screws or set screws. So they're sharper or they're grippier. But you gotta keep in mind, the more grippy it is, the harder it is to, you, know, you gotta sort of lift your foot off. And uh, you could, if you know, if it hit you, you could get bloody. Things to keep in mind. Oh. I was nice. Let that person go. They waved me on, but you know. Eh. SUV versus bike. SUV always wins, unfortunately. Da -da -da -da. What is the rule anyway when you're like giving a wave? You know, like is you know one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. If they don't go, then you just go. <laughs> People are being too courteous. In the morning. Single speed. Woo. Oh my. I think this bike commute to work is in a way is more scenic than some of my other routes. But uh it takes a little longer and there's more hills. That's a good way to wake up in the morning. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so it actually feels pretty darn nice today. Nice cool day today. What else is there to say about these pedals? Like I said, they are, they look really nice. They feel nice. A lot of good grip. Little tip though, uh, depends on what shoes you're wearing. Some of the most sticky shoes, like sneakers, can work best. But uh, those type of shoes tend to also get really, when they get wet, take quite a while to dry and uh, 
they're not really great for walking around a lot in because uh well i take that back i, I won't say all sneakers are all that great but the kind for the bikes the bike sneakers are um not great for walking around a lot in like the the 510s because uh you wear them out It's a little scary every time on that turn there. Cause they got a bunch of dirt or sand or something on the bike path. I should come by here with a broom sometime and sweep it away. Windy day today. I think I'm going against the headwind. Feels nice blowing on me, but it's also slowing me down. I do like platform pedals, I think. Um, you know, my background in recent years has been clipless pedals. Got a video on that of me falling over of funny but yeah trying out platforms giving them a real shot again they uh they're convenient that's a nice thing that's a good thing because the metrolink train up ahead there on the left it was on the bridge I can definitely feel a good grip with these pedals. I'm sort of blaming my shoes right now though. My shoes are not very sticky. I got like walking shoes or running shoes. They're not a uh, not like the sticky sole type. Really sticky type. No bike computer. That's okay. I think I am gonna put a bike computer back on this bike though, because I do like that. It gives me something to look at when I'm not looking at the road. Woo! <laughs> Blogging on a bike. Watch that door zone. I'm staying at least five feet from those doors. No big deal. If there were someone behind me and they wanted to get around me, certainly can. There's a dash to yellow. Not dash anymore, but it's okay. Cross tracks at perpendicular angle. So there you go. No conflict. Works out just fine. Those people were 
loading slash unloading. The nice thing about minivan doors is they slide. They don't swing outward. Like an SUV. Stupid SUV! <laughs> Nah, I'm kidding. Once I get hit by an SUV, then I'll be like stupid SUV at every SUV. Can't blame the SUV though. Gotta blame the driver. Da, 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 da. <laughs> that pedestrian heard me singing to myself. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to Bike Vlogger. See you guys next time. Whew.